Hello everybody, Chuck Northside Guy back with another uh, video featuring 1933 Gaudi. Uh, in today's video, we are looking at the Wayner brothers, Paul and Lloyd Wayner, both Hall of Famers, brothers. And let's take a pause uh, and, and, and think about where we've come. If you've been along with me for with previous videos, I think you can see a pattern of what I'm trying to accomplish with these various videos of the 1933 Gaudi. I'm trying to break down the set in uh, ways that uh, you know bring out the uniqueness, the flavor of the, the stories of the era. I'm trying to feature the Hall of Famers, the various pairs of brothers, I'm trying to show you the different styles of cards. Um, and I'm hopeful that uh, by doing so, we can heighten our appreciation of 1933 Gaudi. So more to come. Uh, and Today we're going to focus on two brothers known as Big Poison and Little Poison. Big Poison was Paul, featured on the card in front of you in a PSA 5, and his 5'9 brother Lloyd was Little Poison. The story of their nicknames uh, reflect a Brooklyn Dodgers fans' pronunciation of Big Person and Little Person. And uh, in 1927, the season that the brothers had accumulated 460 hits, the fan is said to have remarked, them Wainers, it's always the little poison on Thoid and the big poison on Foist. But uh, uh, anyway, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's a colorful story. Uh, Paul uh, had a lifetime batting average of 333. He had 3,152 hits. Uh, played for the Pirates most of his career. He was known as a very strong uh, hitter. Um, when you uh, three-time National League batting champion, uh, MVP in 1927, when the Pirates went to the World Series where they were swept by that famous Yankees team. Uh, he was famous for his ability to uh, hit well hungover. And when he gave up uh, drinking in 1933, Eight at management's request, he hit only 280, the first of only two times that he failed to hit 300 as a pirate. Casey Stengel said he had to be a very graceful player because he could slide without breaking the bottle on his hip. Both brothers suffered from uh, alcohol addiction and abuse. Uh, they gave it up uh, later in life. Uh, the brothers... Uh, hold the career record in the major leagues with a total of hits of 5,611 hits as brothers, uh, outpacing the three Alou brothers, who had 5,094, and the DiMaggio brothers, who had 4,853. They played in the outfield for the Pirates uh, during most of the 30s. Paul was in right field. Lloyd was in uh, center field. Ted Williams credited Paul Wayner um, with advising him to move away from the plate to successfully combat the uh, famous Williams shift. Paul Wayner. Beautiful red background, huh? Now we're going to look at his little brother, Lloyd. Lloyd also was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, he batted over 310 seasons, lifetime batting average of 316. He was a slap hitter, and uh, he earned a record setting 678 hits over his first three seasons. Um, Bill James has listed uh, Lloyd Wayner as one of 10 examples of Hall of Fame inductees who do not deserve the honor. So uh, some believe that there's sentiment that uh, brothers should be in the Hall of Fame, and that may have explained why Lloyd made it. So PSA 6, I think you can see it's uh, off-center. Um, still a nice-looking card, in my opinion. Clean background. Pretty good corners for an 85-year-old card. The Wayner uh, Brothers. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more episodes.